In the last episode, we learned about how to handle the button click events. In this video, I am going to add one more activity to the Android Studio project. Now there is only one activity available on this project that is the main activity. Now I am going to add one more activity to this Android Studio project. Select activity, select an empty activity, specify the activity class name. Here I name the activity class as message activity. This is the layout file name for the activity. Now here Android Studio create the new activity. When you create a new activity in Android Studio, Android Studio do three things. First one, it create class file for the activity. This is the class file for the new activity. Second one, it create a layout file for the activity. Inside layout file, here is the newly created activity layout file. And the last thing is, Android Studio automatically add an activity element inside Android manifest.xml. Open manifest folder, open Android manifest.xml. This is the main activity and this is the activity element for the newly created activity. These are the three things happens when you create a new activity in Android Studio. So now when user click the button, we have to send the message to the new activity and we have to display that message inside the newly created activity. So we have to make some changes on the newly created activity layout file. Change this one into blueprint. Select show all constraints, default margin into 16 dp, we have to display some message, so select text, select, select a text view, drag a text view to this layout, now create the constraints. constraints at the bottom, constraints at the top. Okay. Change the id of the text view into txt display message. Now come back to main activity. So when user click the button, this method will be invoked. From this method, we have to start the second activity. So for starting a second activity, you have to create an object of the indent class. An indent object is used to start components like activity, service, etc. So here we have to start another activity. So we have to create an object of indent. So this statement is no longer needed. So create some variables for indent. new intent. The intent need two parameter. First one is the context. So here is the context is context is activity. So you have to pass this as context. Second parameter is the class file that need to be involved. Here is the second activity class file. So here it is message activity dot class. So now the intent is ready. Now we can start the second activity. So you have to call the method start activity and pass the intent. So now we can check the project. I run the project. Enter some message and send it. Now here the second activity is started but the message is not available because we did not send the message to the second activity. So now here we create an indent for start the second activity and we start the second activity by using the method start activity. Now we have to attach this message to the indent object. So indent do not you have to use this method 
put extras put extra first parameter is the key for the message second parameter is the data here the data available on this variable message now we have to receive this message inside the second activity so open message activity inside on create method of the message activity we have to get the indent first so create some variables for indent for get the indent you have to call this method get intent now we, we have to get the string from the indent so string message indent dot get string extra and pass the key for the message here it is message now we have to display the message on the text view so create some variables for text view use the method find the view pi id txt display message now we can display the message on the text view message now run the project again type some message now click the send button now that message available on the second activity so this is how we create a new activity and this is how we send some data to the newly created activity